Well, Taste of the Town, food truck edition, and Tom is checking out Dough Riders this morning. Hey, Tom. Hey, uh, Renee. Welcome back, by the way. I haven't <laughs> seen you since you were 12. Aww. It's so nice to see you. You've grown so much. Thank you. I thought you were about to call me Aunt <laughs> oh, it's Renee. It's nice to see you again. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, oh, it's good to see you again. Anyways, welcome back. Hey, yeah, this is Taste the Town. We're at Dough Riders. Look who I have with me, Aaron Finger. He's the owner. First of all, Aaron, I love the setup. Come on over here, you guys. Check out his, check out his truck. How cool is that, man? If you go to work in a truck that looks like that, it's got flames on it and everything. It's got your logo on there. That's styling. And you. also, while we're here and we're saying hello to Aaron, who are these two little guys over here, Aaron? Well, those are my kids. That's uh, Noah and that's Isaac. Oh, very cool. Isaac, I like riders. the do. What do you got going there? I like that do. Very cool. <laughs> Oh, it's good to have you guys. Hey, so you. you ran a sports league for little kids for a while, and then COVID hit. That's and correct. So you're like, hey, they so a lot of them wanted refunds and a lot of things like that. So then you made a pivot to start making pizzas. Tell yep. me your story. Yeah, so um, I nine sports um, I had about for about seven years, and we were about to approach our biggest season in the spring, and that's when COVID hit in March. And so Son of a gun. it was like all the walls came down, and just sitting in my office, figuring like, what am I going to do now? Got to do something. That's the only source of income. So. My man Cody here, he's uh, my lead soccer instructor at I-9 Sports. So Cody uh, knows how to kick a soccer ball around. He can kick a soccer ball and he can also make a killer pizza. So nice. I, I thought, uh, you know, he had the restaurant background, I had the business background, and uh, felt like uh, teaming up and starting something new so we can make some money during the pandemic. The heart and soul is this stove that you have back here, this oven. This is really, really cool. Now, tell me the story. You were looking at them online to get a new one, and that wasn't working out because you weren't going to get it for a while. Yeah, it was going to take about two and a half months. So, you know, uh, that's kind of, you know, too late for, for the income to start streaming in here. So sure. you couldn't wait around for a new one. So uh, I uh, found another guy in, in Mesa um, that uh, was selling his unit he had a business and he was selling it he had it originally sold to a couple in british columbia that couldn't get it because uh -huh. of covid and so uh, we lucked out the stars aligned and uh you know two weeks later we were making pizzas in front of my house uh doing some r d work that is so fun now you've been have you done who have you been helping out like i'm guessing some corporate things things like that yeah mostly you know so we started our first event was actually july 4th here where i live at sky crossing so uh -huh. we've been doing a lot of these neighborhood communities bringing the pizza to them since they can't go out you know, to restaurants with, yeah. their, with their big groups and whatnot. Uh, we've been also pairing up with the local breweries in town, like Simple Machine and Wandering Tortoise, oh, that's Greenwood, great. supporting those guys out, bringing food yeah. to them and their customers. Sure, they probably love it. Well, let's look at some of these pizzas that you're making. I was holding this one up for the teas. What yes. am I looking at here? That's the Aaron. elote. That's, uh, that's got a, a cream, a sour cream base uh, with the corn and the green chilies. Um, uh, you know, yeah. so that's a, that's a Mexican pizza, really delicious, uh, just completely different flavors than Absolutely anything Absolutely I recognize this one. That's our classic pepperoni for sure. Yeah, you can't can't beat that <laughs> Everyone one. Everyone from first grade on up knows what that is. Okay, yeah. now this is this is my all-time favorite. I love pesto. Yeah, that's the Jimmy pesto. So that's got a, a pesto-based pizza with the uh, the chicken and the uh, the diced cherry tomatoes on top of it. Well, I think we're gonna Super call delicious. that the Tommy pesto today because that's gonna disappear. I like it double cut because I like appetizers more than I like slices. I love it. Yep. We hey, can do so that. <laughs> coming up, we're gonna talk to Cody. He's the guy that whips all these pizzas up. But how about that? They're running a like a sports league that didn't go so well, and they opened up. Up, uh, a mobile pizza place. How cool is that, you guys? I love it. Good way to pivot. Um, Tom, you need to pivot towards yeah. a box for those pizzas and bring them all back. <laughs> I don't know if they have a sweet potato pizza, but we'll see. Hey, <laughs> I'd eat that too. All right. And Taste of the Town, food truck edition. Tom is out making some pizza pies, and they look good. Did you box those Yeah, you those know, up? I could eat pizza any day of the week. Yeah. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, I, you know, if you have a cracker and you put like ketchup on it and cheese on it, that's a pizza to me. I mean, I'll eat any kind of pizza. So look, at I was making that pizza. I ripped my gloves. I was so excited. I like tore up my gloves, but I'm gonna be eating the pizza, so don't worry about it. Yeah, we're hanging out with the Dough Riders, and you know they've done the pivot. They had uh, a, a little league, not a little league, but like a, a kids sports league that they had running, and it kind of went down in uh, COVID. And so they created this. They bought an oven and everything. And I've got Cody Stetson with me. Cody, now you're the brains behind the actual pizza. Uh, you have a background in food, don't you? Yeah. So uh, when I was growing up in New York, my godfather owned a pizzeria. Uh, well, hold on. He said Godfather in New York all in one Honest, sentence. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Honest Where, to God, where's Godfather. Where's the pinky ring? Michael Goriero. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. That's classic. So he owned, he owned a pizzeria called Three Guys Pizzeria in Highland, New York, and uh, I, I pretty much ate it every day. So I tasted it enough to figure it out, how to make it, and um, 
worked yeah. in restaurants during college and afterwards, and I uh, think the, all, all the things came together to have dough riders happen at the right time. This is so cool. And I showed you guys the oven this before. So you guys are burning wood, fresh wood every time you got, you got this going. Absolutely, like, There's yeah. no gas in there. That's like no real gas. wood. Right now we've got cherry wood in there. Most of the time we're using oak. Very nice. Okay, so we're going to make some pizzas here. Uh, I'm going to make a, just a basic pepperoni. Sure. Now, this sauce is interesting because there's not it's not real thick. No, yeah. All right, so how am I, am I just kind of circling around? Sure, yeah, go ahead okay. and do a nice little circle yep. on there. So it looks, looks really good. it looks really thin to Perfect. me. Perfect. And you so can use, use this, this thing and go ahead okay, and, yep, and just push it towards do one the of these things. It now. does look very thin. And so why is that? This is a special sauce, you're saying? Absolutely. So this is made from San Marzano DOP tomatoes, and we do it kind of thinner to make sure that we get the flavor that we want out of it, but you don't see your teeth marks in the sauce after you bite into that pizza. <laughs> Which I never complain about. Okay, well you go ahead and keep working on yours yeah, as well. So I've got my sauce down. Am I going pepperoni next or cheese? I'm going cheese next. Go cheese right? next, go for it. Yeah, okay. You can do pepperoni under or on top either way. Tell me some of the pizzas fun. that you guys are making. Yeah, like, give me so a little laundry we've, list. We've got some interesting ones. We've got uh, a Goldfinger pizza that is uh, gold uh, potato, Yukon gold potatoes. I love potatoes. Sauerkraut. That one has green onions on it, oh and it has goodness. a mustard and sour cream base on that pizza. That sounds funky, but I like potatoes. I don't mind sauerkraut. A little bit different. It's There's some, some nice me. bacon on there, too. Oh, well, there you go. We've got our elote pizza that we talked about earlier with the lime crema. It's got a corn sauce on top yes. with green peppers, and we could throw, again, bacon on there. We're never afraid to throw bacon on pizzas. <laughs> Amen to that. I don't yeah. know about pineapple, but bacon? I hear you. Double up Tom, on that. you and I could eat pizza together. Absolutely. So you also have a dessert cookie that you make? Yeah, so we do uh, the classic Italian pizzellis and we do like a uh, ricotta cannoli filling, but instead of rolling them into cannolis, we stuff them between two cookies so you get a little bit more oh, for that's each one. so fun. Oh, look at how beautiful that is. Perfect. Well, I've got uh, uh, Isaac over here and Noah. Now these are Aaron's boys. Okay, fellas, grab a slice of pizza. Let's see how fast you can eat a pizza in 10 seconds. Ready? In three, two, one. One. Two. It looks like Noah's got the lead. Three. Isaac, you're gonna have to take a few bites. Well, Five. They, they don't let him Six choke. <laughs> 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 oh, aren't they great? Yeah. Hey, you guys, look them up online. Doughriders.com. They'll, they'll come to your neighborhood. They'll come to your work. They'll come to your well. Schools are out, but they'll they'll uh, they'll set you up. And again, they have this this beautiful look wood fired that. pizza on the you know just wherever you want to take it. Wow. That yeah, looks so good. Yeah. Right. Tom, thank you. Yeah. Uh, Doe sure Riders back. is the name of that place. And uh, yeah, get them for like a special event or something yeah. like that. We're going to have special events again. Promise? Have a good day. <laughs>